Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. This is kind of an emotional thing for me because I've known about this show for a long time. And the newspapers and the magazines, and I've probably been interviewed 150 times in the last nine months since I've known about this. As I say, you work up to it. We come over here this afternoon. We meet the guests that are on the show. And you get kind of charged up. I don't mean to be maudlin about it. But I know that tonight a lot of people, a lot of my friends are watching all over the country. And I only have one feeling as I, I stand here knowing that so many people are watching. I want my man there. <laughs> well, I made it through that first night with the help of Groucho Marx, Rudy Valley, Joan Crawford, Tony Bennett, and Mel Brooks. I could never have imagined I would walk through that curtain almost 5,000 times in 30 years. The following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. And now, here's Johnny! That is very kind of you. Thank you very much. I, thank you. I love you, too. <laughs> we are uh, around the studio so emotionally high from last night's show, we have not come down yet. And I want to thank Robin Williams and Bette Midler for last night for giving us the next to closing show. We were, uh, they were absolutely sensational. This show tonight is our farewell show. It's going to be a little bit quieter. It's not going to be a performance show. And one of the questions that people have asked me, especially last month, is what's it like doing The Tonight Show, and what has it meant to me? Well, let me try to explain it. If I could magically, somehow, that tape you just saw, make it run backwards, I'd like to do the whole thing all over again. It has been... <laughs> it has been... It has been a, just a hell of a lot of fun. Um, as an entertainer, it's been a great experience in my life, and I cannot imagine finding something after I leave tonight in television that would give me as much joy and pleasure and a sense of exhilaration as this show has given me. It's just very hard to explain. Now, we don't want the show to be mawkish. This is kind of, it's a farewell show, and there's a certain sadness among the staff here, a little melancholy. But look on the bright side. You won't have to read or see one more story about my leaving the show. <laughs> I mean, the press coverage has been absolutely tremendous, and we are very grateful. But, oh my God, I mean, the Soviet Union's uh, in didn't get this kind of publicity. Uh, the press has been very decent and honest with me, and uh, I thank them for that, and uh, that's about it. The greatest accolade, though, I think I received today. GE named me Employee of the Month. God knows that was a dream come true. <laughs> I don't like saying goodbye. Farewell shows are, are, are a little awkward, and I really thought about this, no joke. 
I thought, God, how can I... Wouldn't it be funny, I thought. Instead of showing up tonight, put on a rerun. <laughs> NBC did not find that funny at all. <laughs> Next question I get is, what are you going to do? Well, I really had not made any plans, but the events of this last week have helped me make a decision. I'm uh, going to join the cast of Murphy Brown <laughs> and become a surrogate father to that kid. <laughs> I think that is the, the least I can do for wholesome family values. Now, during the run of the show, there have been seven different United States presidents. And thankfully for comedy, there have been eight vice presidents <laughs> of the United States. Now, I know I've made a lot of jokes at the expense of Dan Quayle, but I really want to thank him tonight for making my final week so fruitful. Uh, here is an interesting... Here is an interesting statistic that may stun you. When we started the show October 1, 1962, the total population of the Earth was 3,100,000,000 people. This summer, it is 5,500,000,000 people which is a net increase of 2,400,000,000 million people, which should give us some cause. More amazing statistic is that half of those 2,400,000,000 million people will soon have their own late-night TV show. Uh, now, originally, originally NBC came and says, you know what we'd like you to do in the final show? We'd like to do a two-hour primetime special with a lot of celebrities and a star-studded audience. And I said, well, I'd really prefer to end like we started, rather quietly, in our same time slot, in front of our same shabby little set. <laughs> it is rather shabby. We, we offered it to a homeless shelter, and they said, no, thank you. Uh, I am taking the applause sign home, putting it in the bedroom. <laughs> Maybe once a week, just turn it on. Uh, but we do have a VPI audience, a VPI audience. <laughs> we should have had that, too. What we did, I asked the members of the staff and the crew to invite... Their family relatives, their friends to come tonight, and they did. We've had some other invited guests. My family is here tonight, my wife, Alex, my two sons, Chris and Corey. My, uh, my, uh, my, my brother, Dick, my sister, Catherine, and a sprinkling of nephews and nieces. And uh, I realize that being an offspring of somebody who is constantly in the public eye is not easy. So... Uh, Guys, I want you to know I love you, and I hope your old man hasn't caused you too much discomfort. Uh, it would have been... It would have, it would have been a perfect evening if their brother Rick could have been here with us. But I guess life does what it's supposed to do, and you accept it and, and go on. Uh, now, about tonight's show. This is really not a performance show. This is kind of a look back, a retrospective. We're going to show you some moments in time. Uh, some images of the many people, and there have been some 23,000 people. We're going to show you a little excerpt of the way, way this show is put together, so go get some more cheese dip. We'll be back in just a moment. Thank you for coming. Here's a story worth repeating. Bill buys a Honda. Thank you, Henry. Come on, Duke. Bye, Bill. Now, over the years, Bill drives and drives. Hey, look, horses, Duke and drives his Honda. Then, when it's time, Bill trades his Honda. Well, thanks again, Bill. Thank you, Henry. For another Honda. Honda. Number one in owner loyalty. Again. Boy, oh boy, are you gonna get it? You never believe what you're getting into. You can't escape, so you might as well forget it. The concept of value investing is based on spotting hidden value, recognizing overlooked opportunity. The Cadillac DeVille is sticker price around $32,000, and yet feature for feature, it compares favorably with foreign luxury cars costing thousands more. But you'll have to decide for yourself. We're not asking you to buy American. We're asking you to try American. And may the best car win. 
Some small businesses need to be heard around the world. Introducing AT&T Partners in Business International, the calling plan with a choice. Get a discount to most any country if you make just a few short calls and faxes a month. Or take this choice. Pick the one country that's most important to your business and get an extra 10% discount. AT&T Partners in Business. Choices. Because one size does not fit all. Call us. past 30 years, we have had some 24,000 guests on this show from every profession, actors, comedians, uh, singers, dancers, politicians, writers, and so forth. What we have tonight are just little images. We pick these things out uh, just to show you. These are not long sketches like we do on our anniversary show. We just wanted to give you a sense of some of the foolishness that has happened on this show in the past 30 years. Uh, well, first, let me tell you your assets. You're young. 42, right? Right. Uh, you come over on television like gangbusters. And boy, I'm the expert on how important that is. <laughs> You're not going to lend me your makeup, uh, man, are you? you uh, no, I'm going to lend him to Lyndon Johnson. <laughs> I'm so delighted to see you. Because I uh, ride up and down and my building every day in the elevator and I see a man that says he's Johnny Carson. So it's great to see you finally. It's not really... In addition to that, who are you? Which is even more important. Caroline Drayson. You're Joanne who? Caroline Drayson. Caroline Drayson. You're two different girls? Yes. Say the secret word and Groucho will come to your house. My dressing room isn't good enough for her. I've got to see a doctor. I've got to see a doctor because there's something wrong with me. What can it be? What can it be? Oh, you go right ahead there. Do your impressions. Don't be nervous. I worked 30 years as faithful sidekick for Kimasabe. Mm -hmm. Hunt, fish, make food. So close, mm -hmm. sweep up, stay awake all night, listen for enemies for Kimasabe. Mm -hmm. Risk life for Kimasabe. Mm -hmm. Thirty lousy years. <laughs> nine fights in the Navy. Is that right? Well, you must have been pretty good, because I don't see no marks on you or nothing. <laughs> well, I don't see many marks on you either. Well, I am pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Is this water you're having? No, that's wine. I thought you never drank. Well, we've been out together. Wine. You hardly I ever have. All, I hate all liquor and I hate wine. But I don't know. I think I was a little bit nervous. And I thought wine would fix me up. You know, I'm always so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I'm a wreck. But, um, it's very reassuring, in a way, to know that all these fans are so interested in in film personalities that they would like to come, you know, and even just look at your house and your shrubs, it sometimes is rather embarrassing. I'd love to see your shrubs. <laughs> <laughs> I Have you ever had anybody? I know you. I'm sorry for that. I, any opening at all, I jump right in. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Now, wait a minute. Wait. Now, look, that's really... Lake Baringo is a body of water. Its surface is smooth as glass. But getting to Lake Baringo is a genuine pain in the ass. Well, I hugged you a little higher, but I'll hug you. <laughs> okay. Now. Okay. What? Which, are you, are you right handed? Uh huh. Doesn't matter, but I, so they will see. Uh -huh. Now you take your knuckle and you hit it the spot right there. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, my God. I'm okay now. I'm out here. Mama, I'm on TV. <laughs> For my friends in San Francisco, how old? <laughs> I never could stand my face, of course. It was just one of those things. <laughs> no, truthfully, never could stand my face. Uh, directors kept me out of rushes because I'd be so depressed for days. What didn't you like about your face? I thought it was hideous. I couldn't stand it. <laughs> well, now I'm a great many years older, and I see some of those films, and I don't think there's any question I was the best-looking woman <laughs> John, from the bottom of my heart, deep inside my body, not Tommy Grimes. You were clear in that. John. <laughs> to say it to the king, I told you, the silver fox sitting here, John, you look marvelous. Does he not look at that? <laughs> I'm crazy about You're going out on tour for, mm -hmm. what, three? Three months. Excuse me, there's something flying around here. Must be that mousse that you put in your hair. What? <laughs> you guys, you guys never had any girlfriends in there at, at all, did you? Huh? You were four grown men in there. You never had any girlfriends. <laughs> You're out on that ranch all by yourself. I'm not. Uh, there were a lot of rumors. <laughs> a lot of rumors about that. There were. There I'm were just a lot of rumors about the Cartwrights being homosexual. There were a great. Yeah, I'm not, I didn't mean that. I wasn't. And uh, and I am here to set the record straight. We were not. <laughs> Thank God Hop Singh was. <laughs> I gotta ask you something. Sure. Last night, my son, uh, you know, you were talking about Zsa Zsa Gabor earlier. Yeah, I think and everybody's talking about My son it. said, you know, she was on Johnny Carson's show one time. She came there with a cat on her lap. And she said to you, do you want to pet my put? <laughs> that you said uh, I'd love to if you'd remove that damn cat. <laughs> I tell you, I... Is it true? No, I think I would recall that. The fellow you're fighting is, uh, I'm not familiar with. What's Allison Rodriguez. Now, is he a good uh, fighter? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. Are you going to be staying out here long? or? Just... I'm leaving tonight. i got to drop the uh, audition ta tape off over at CBS, and then I'm going. <laughs> uh, you feel your cup easy to lift? Well, I'm a Pisces, and we're very sensitive. Yeah, what does that mean now? That's... I was married to a Pisces once. I'm sure you were. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the memory. Sunburns at the shore. Nights in Singapore. You might have had a headache, but you never were a bore. So thank you. So. Everybody's rushing to America's most popular movie. Get down, get down. I think we ought to check this out. They're going by truck. Put on me, put on. By motorcycle. By train. Never. By car. You're driving. No, I'm driving. This Memorial Day weekend, let nothing get in the way of seeing Lethal Weapon 3. We're back. Yeah. Rated R, now playing. You have a different view of life. You don't want to get bogged down in revolving credit on bank cards. All that revolving debt, all that outrageous interest, this is not for you. You know how to get out of that trap. The card, the American Express card. Don't leave home without it. 
Today, room service. She makes breakfast every morning. Coffee. Even if you might not want to, you can't help but wake people up with the fresh mountain-grown aroma of Folgers coffee. Great. Voila. <laughs> you made me breakfast in bed. buyer, I love the no-hassle approach. There's a new, easier way to buy a car at your Ford dealer. It was great. We loved it. Now every new 93 Ford Escort LX model in stock has one price, $10,499. Three-door, four-door, five-door, even wagon. All well-equipped, all at the same great price. The imports all had price increases. Escort actually came down in price. Come see your Ford dealer today and experience a simpler way to buy. Four Escorts, one price. There's nothing more to say. Okay, now we've got some, uh, thank you. We, uh, music has been an integral part of the show, and over the years we have had everything from uh, heavy metal to classical, rock and roll to opera, country music. And what's amazing that all these people, we are so in their debt, they come here, and we don't pay a great deal of money on this show. And all of these artists have showed up year after year on this program, so settle back. And we were rather stunned by the, the depth of field in the music. Watch. Please stay with me till after the holidays. That's when I need you so. And so, darling, this is very darling. It seems we stood and talked like this once before. Joanna loved me Every sound was music Don't know why There's no sun up in the sky Stormy weather Someday you'll come along
on Broadway. Get your kicks on Stay with it. Mission, rated R, starts Friday, June 12th at a theater near you. Another beautiful morning. There's no one like you. Another delicious Burger King breakfast. Maybe I'll have a tasty breakfast buddy at Burger King for just 59 cents. And I get coffee and hash browns for just a buck more. What do you say? What do you say? Delicious. I can't wait until tomorrow morning. It's a delicious morning. And I'm here with the Let's go right away. Right away. Burger King now. So I'm barbecuing for 30. I got the best steaks. I got the cheap charcoal. And I got burned. Fire's out. Don't get burned by cheap charcoal. By the best. Kingsford. The sure fire. 
Quality is hitting the mark for Buick. That's the convincing conclusion of the Design Use Automotive Engineer Survey. Buick was ranked higher than any import manufacturer, with two Buicks among the top ten. Buick Regal, a lean and agile mid-size masterpiece. And Buick LeSabre, the car rated a best buy by both Consumers Digest and Motor Trend. Right now, get low 2.9% GMAC financing on every new Buick. Quality and value. They're putting your better Buick dealer on top. It's new. It's extraordinary. Welcome to the next century of quality in home fashion. Hi, I'm Hugh Plunkett. Our family invites you to the grand opening of Plunkett's new show place in Hoffman Estates. A place where quality is legendary and integrity is a tradition. A home furnishing store with spectacular room settings and tremendous values. With a talented staff of design consultants to serve you, visit Plunkett Furniture during our grand opening celebration at all nine locations. After the Tonight Show, Dave's going to answer all your questions with viewer mail. Plus, Michael J. Fox and the dude of the 90s, Paulie Shore, only on NBC. Last week, moviegoers paid $35 million to see him. Since when did you start wearing underpants? Now you can see him for free. Mel Gibson, Bird on a Wire, NBC Sunday. I used to be a button pusher, especially in the car. There wasn't any one radio station I liked, so I'd bounce around from one to another. You know, you can have an accident doing that. I think I was in a traffic jam when I found the mix. Mix 102 plays the best variety of today's hits and yesterday's favorites, and they play them one right after another. I don't have to bounce around the dial. Mix 102, at work with you all day long. I let the mix mix it up for me. Hop into Amico and take the Silver One Tank Test. Fill up with one tank full of Amico Silver. It'll clean up the filthiest fuel injectors. And it's better for the environment because it's specially formulated to reduce harmful emissions. Amico Silver does it all in just one tank full for your money back. So take the Silver One Tank Test. Bring back the acceleration. Bring back the power. Hop in and take it today. Challenger, Carol Marine, only on the Channel 5 News. Okay, we are back. Now, Doctor, my good friend, this show would have been almost impossible to do, and it sure has been a hell of a lot more fun to do it with these two guys. Ed has been a rock for 30 years sitting over here next to me. And Doctor, uh, we'll have, uh, I got a letter. And we have, we have been friends for 34 years. A lot of people who work together on television are not, don't necessarily like each other. This hasn't been true. We've known each other 34 years. We have dinner together. We're good friends. You cannot fake that on television. And some of the best things we've done on the show have just been, you start something, I'll start something. I got a letter the other day from a guy. Came from Television Guide. And he says, now you're going to find out if Ed McMahon really thinks you're funny. <laughs> <laughs> you do your big laugh. I do. <laughs> but you're going on, you're going to uh, do your star search? Yes, and if you're ever lonely and need a place to exhibit something, come down and I'll help you. <laughs> no, thank you. It is, it's, no, it's, it's, it's been wonderful. wonderful. Really, I have to say something. It's just been a joy. I, I met you and we talked for seven minutes. I just found out the other day there were seven other people up for that job. And I got it. I thank you. My family thanks you forever. <laughs> Thank you, sir. And not only this man over here, this man over here, there's never been a better trumpet player in the world, and television is going to lose the last big swing band yes. in the world. <laughs> and, and, to say, and to say that this band is not hip is not to know the meaning of the word hip. Believe me, folks. <laughs> The words young and hip are not synonymous. Doctor, what are you going to be doing? Concert? Well, I'm going to be uh, taking the guys out on a little tour. Uh, I, as you said, we may be called the X Tonight Show Band, so we had some jewelry <laughs> made up. <laughs> and uh, there, get a load of that. Special stuff for us. But uh, I'll be with the Phoenix okay. Symphony Orchestra and the Buffalo Philharmonic. Uh, but before we leave here, I, I want to thank you, Johnny, for making life such a joy. And I... 
uh, it's going to be awfully hard every night about that time <laughs> when we hit that theme and you walk out there through that curtain. And I wondered if maybe once a week you could come <laughs> into my house and walk out through the sure. draperies in my <laughs> living room. I'll do that. But anyway. the guys and I want to thank you for giving us well, a place to play our music. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay, now... Okay, I love you guys. You know that. We'll stay in touch. We'll stay in touch. Are we ready for our next little, uh, little segment? Now, this was kind of strange to put together, because I've told you we've had thousands and thousands of people, and we didn't select certain people for any reason, just to give you uh, an idea of the dimension of the people who've been here. It is sad that the first ten years of The Tonight Show are gone. We don't have the tapes. It would have been fun to show Jane Mansfield sitting with Boris Karloff or Peter Lorre talking to Tallulah Bankhead or Bette Midler's first appearance, but unfortunately, those tapes are gone. Uh, you want to do this first? Yeah. Of course. A dollar is always a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's changed. That's right, and that never will. But we're coming back to it. Did you know that calcium is important for healthy teeth? We want strong teeth, don't we? Yeah. Calcium is in your mouth naturally. And calcium has been in Colgate's great regular flavor for years. It has no nutritional value, but calcium helps Colgate's fluoride penetrate teeth for outstanding cavity protection. And when you're all through, you go... Colgate's great regular flavor for strong, healthy teeth. What else would you expect from the world's leading toothpaste? Why put up with glasses that just don't fit? LensCrafters has so many ways to fit your snug points, like snug fit hinges that flex to keep their gentle fit. LensCrafters better fit for greater comfort in about an hour. Come on! Come on! Beer refreshment that's less filling. Miller Lite's everything you want a beer to be. Tomorrow, cash machines. Come on, Miller Lite. Come on. Rub it up there. It's up. Rub it up there. Sunbathing by Sun Chips. Sun Chips multi grain snacks. A little sun never tasted so good. This is the 190 horsepower Jeep Cherokee Laredo. Nice, but suppose you want to make it nicer. Suppose you want to add air, power windows and locks, stereo cassette, and cruise control. And suppose on top of that, you want big savings. And suppose we gave it to you. Yes, for a limited time, you get all this and save all this at your Jeep and Eagle dealer. But hurry, you don't suppose a deal like this will last for long, do you? See your local Jeep and Eagle dealer, where you can expect the best. This segment, thank you. This, uh, this segment doesn't need any elaborate setup. These are just a few of the faces that have passed this way in 30 years.
Severinsen and the band for that wonderful music underneath that strap there. Thank you, guys. We'll be back in a moment. Beautiful. I want to show you why my Dirt Devil is the world's best-selling corded hand vacuum. Okay, Sam. Now, the toughest test for any vacuum is pit air. So I gave my Dirt Devil a strong motor and a revolving brush, just like an upright. And if it's powerful enough to clean up this mess, imagine what it can do with a dirty carpet. You could say Dirt Devil is man's best friend. Well, almost. So get a Dirt Devil and put the power of an upright in the palm of your hand. Come on, one inch farther. Let's go. Snickers Bar, the official snack food sponsor of the 1992 U.S. Olympic team. Packed with fresh roasted peanuts, thick milk chocolate, and caramel, Snickers satisfies the hunger inside you. There's a hunger A night for Excedrin PM. This day won't go away. My allowance. Yeah. Your vacation? Canceled. The check? Wow. I can't sleep and my head aches. You want Excedrin PM. Strong aspirin-free headache medicine you can feel good about. Plus a gentle ingredient to help you sleep. Mother is staying indefinitely. Make a bad day go away with Excedrin PM. And rest assured it's aspirin-free. Okay, we are back. Now, you, uh, you normally see uh, myself and Ed and Doc out here in the band in front of the cameras, but like any television show, this has a lot of people, and I've had the good fortune of having a marvelous staff, and marvelous technical crew, and all behind-the-scenes people who have been very dedicated to the show and take great pride in it, and most of them have been here for a good number of years, so I, I thank all of them for making this possible. We have, never, we have never really let journalists come in and cover the show while we're putting it together. We always think the show should speak for itself, but what we did, we got a camera crew, and they went around, and they just took shots of an average day, what goes into uh, putting the, the show that you see on the air. So here is our little backstage look at The Tonight Show. down for tonight monologue of course but then Johnny does uh, his last uh, tea time movie and Teresa Genzel is with that after the commercial Stevie Wonder two songs we close with uh, Stephen Wright's stand up to panel and then do a promo for tomorrow night's show and if you don't have any more questions that's it for today Tonight show. Check it out, Mike. Stevie Wonder is here, and Clint Eastwood is confirmed for the 15th. That's good. They know. Thank okay. you very much. One more time. Top. One more time. It'll be straight. One, two, one, two. The model of blue that came to me a question. Kind of to you, and so I won't let you be. Question was if I was blessed with the gift of sight. What most of life would I want to see? (laughs) 
Jeffrey. How are you, sir? Good it's warm again. That's huh? great, huh? Wonderful. The studio holds 465 people, and uh, we'll fill up every last seat. So, if there's room, Very we will get you a seat. <laughs> Endless amount of mail Mr. Carson receives. Probably 10,000 pieces a week. Alex didn't talk to you about this, is he? Hello there, feature film freaks. Art Fern here with today's feature film. That's it. That's a monologue. It's officially monologue. All right, let's go to Johnny. Best seat in the house, I think, really. It's about five minutes till five. We'll do the show at 5.30. And uh, we'll do it in real time. Beauty time. Basically, this is what John sees as he sits here at the desk. Is that Stevie? Yeah. Well, he's doing my favorite song. I'll be right. seeing you. I'll be seeing you right. Welcome to The Tonight Show, starring Johnny Carson. My name is Jeff Sotsing. I'm one of the many producers of this show. It would show up. A minute. We got a minute. It would back by a minute. It's gone over. No rush. Minutes ago, no rush. Have we got time? 30 seconds standby playback. Huh? Well, I'll do so for you. Next time. Okay, 30 seconds, John. Oh, my God. I'm late. Five, four, three, two, one. Music take. Starring Johnny Carson. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's Johnny. You folks are here on a great night. Mighty Carson art players with Teresa Ganzel and the final appearance of Art Fern in our Tea Time movie. Right now, it's time for a visit with one of the mainstays of daytime television. Making his last appearance on The Tonight Show, your friend and his lovable Art Fern. Hello there, feature film freaks. Art Fern here with today's feature film, Woody Harrelson, Woody Allen, Woody Guthrie, Woody Woodpecker, Woody Herman, Herman Munster, and Dumpo, the Wonder Pigeon, <laughs> in Heidi Suffers an Estrogen Avalanche. Heart of mine embraces all the way through.
If I had realized the staff worked that hard, I'd have given them a raise. <laughs> what? <laughs> we'll be back in a moment. Tighter grip on the Illinois labor force. New figures tonight show a sharp increase in the state's unemployment rate. It soared what was Dahmer's everyday life like during the time he was allegedly to search for answers in this tragedy? The invasion of a particularly violent gang from Los Angeles. Years. They do know that the surgery will help him live longer. The Channel 5 News Team. All the qualities that make us Chicago's best news. There's a motion on the floor. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Shell. Mr. Chairman, Shell customers are asking for eight presidents. What? What? Mm -hmm. A set of eight presidential collector coins, free at Shell. What's the value of these coins? Well, it could be considerable because when you collect them, you could instantly win up to $50,000 in gold. I won! Your, if we could take a short recess. You may fun. win part of a million dollars at Shell. Season after season, the resale value of a Honda Accord stays up better than most any other car in its class. And now, with a more powerful engine, greater fuel economy, and a driver's side airbag standard, the 92 Accord once again has no competition for value or price. Good news, because after all, money doesn't grow on trees. Don't miss it. It's Montgomery Ward's lowest prices of the season sale. We not only lowered our prices, we're giving instant discounts of $20 to $150 on top of that. You can't miss it. Lowest prices store-wide. Laser 386 computer with monitor, $8.99. You can't miss it. All the leading brands, Sony, Panasonic, IBM, Maytag. GE Refrigerator, $348. Lazy Boy Recliner, $299. Montgomery Ward lowest prices of the season sale, plus instant discounts. Whatever. So it has come to this. I, uh, I am one of the lucky people in the world. I found something I always wanted to do, and I have enjoyed every single minute of it. I want to thank the gentleman who shared this stage with me for 30 years, Mr. Ed McMahon, <laughs> Mr. Doc Severinsen, and you people watching, I can only tell you that it has been an honor and a privilege to come into your homes all these years and entertain you. And I hope when I find something that I want to do and I think you will like and come back that you'll be as gracious inviting me into your home as you have been, I bid you a very heartfelt good night. <laughs>